the sermon at Benares. Betty Bradshaw Barber Betty Louise Bradshaw Barber was born in Shannon, Mississippi on September 3, 1927, to P. C. and Lillian Renshaw. After graduating valedictorian from Shannon High School, she went on to obtain her Bachelor of Arts degree from Mississippi College, and later a Master of Arts from Mississippi University for Women. The sermon at Benares throws light upon the early life of Lord Buddha who was originally born as a prince in the royal family. On being exposed to the sufferings of the world which he was earlier shielded from, he left his priesthood and went in search of salvation thus leaving all the worldly pleasures behind. Upon attaining spiritual awakening, he gave his first sermon in the city of Benares hereby making a lady named Kisagatami realize that men are mortal and a wise person should not grieve at what is bound to happen for it only enhances pain and suffering. The sermon at Benares illustrates the valuable preachings of Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha was born as a prince named Siddhartha Gautama in North India. When he was 12 years old, he was sent away from home to study the sacred Hindu scriptures. He returned four years later and married a beautiful princess. They had a healthy son and led a life of royalty for ten years. Being a part of the royal family, he was protected from the sufferings and unpleasant happenings around the world. One fine day while he went out hunting, the prince met an ailing man, an old man, a funeral procession and a monk begging for alms. He was moved by the encounters and soon he left royalty behind to seek enlightenment for all the sorrows that he witnessed. After seven years, he attained salvation and sat under a tree and renamed it as the Body Tree, Tree of Wisdom, and began preaching and sharing his new understandings. Soon, he came to be known as the Buddha, the Awakened or the Enlightened. He gave his first sermon in Benares, the holy city on the banks of the river Ganges. In one of his sermons, he taught about a lady, Kishigatami whose only son had died. She was devastated and in extreme grief for the sudden loss. She went from one house to another seeking help and medicine to bring her son back to life. People thought that she had lost her mind, owing to her grief. One day, she met a man who directed her to approach Lord Buddha for guidance. He felt that Lord Buddha could possibly help her in this crisis. The lady approached the monk as directed and begged him to cure her son. Lord Buddha asked her to procure mustard seeds from a house where the family had never lost a family member, relative or friend. Kishigatami was filled with a ray of hope and immediately went in search of it from one house to another, but she could find none. She felt disheartened and finally realized how selfish she had been in desperately searching for something that was not possible to achieve. Thus, she understood that man is a mortal being. All who come to earth, have to leave behind all their relations and belongings when they die. This was the lesson that Lord Buddha taught her and wanted her to understand, that life and death is the cycle of the universe and no one can escape it. Lord Buddha taught a valuable lesson to all that feelings of sorrow and grief only escalates man's suffering and pain. It deteriorates one's health and worsens the current situation. Therefore, a wise person is one who is completely aware of how Mother Nature functions and must not lose hope or remain in constant grief for something that is bound to happen. It is only then one can enjoy a life and stay happy and blessed in life. The sermon at Benares explains one of the holiest preachings of Lord Buddha that tended the suffering of a grieving mother, Kishigatami who lost her son. By accepting the truth of life. She freed herself from unending pain.